All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's NHIAA Division I volleyball match between the visiting Hollis Brookline Cavaliers and the Goffstown Grizzlies. This is Matthew Kennerson. Along with me is Marty Kelly. Hey, how's it going? This is going to be a good one tonight, Matt. It should be a good one tonight. Hollis Brookline comes in with a record of five wins and zero losses. And in fact, they haven't um, lost an individual game to 25. They've won all their matches 3 nothing so far this year. Um, they're a very good team. Uh, they're also the defending state champions from last year. Yes. Um, the Grizzlies are currently one win and six losses. We just came off a couple of really, really tough road losses against Timberline, Timberlane and Bedford. Um, but the girls have been playing well. It's like you can't put one single thing that they're, that they're doing wrong. It's just um, they've got to they get, get everything together. Right. But we've seen that with the boys a couple of years ago where they started that season one and seven or yep. one and six, finished the season six and one for a seven and seven record, and then went to the final four in the playoffs. Right. So yeah. it, it, it certainly can happen. It's starting tonight, possibly. Starting tonight. Starting tonight. It'd be nice to at least, you know, um, realistically, Hollis Brookline, like I said, is a very good team. It would be really nice, and I think it would be very good for these girls to at least take one game to 25 for them. Right. Um, but, you know, just like that, the old saying for football, any given Sunday, any given volleyball match. Right. You know, you, it, uh, it just depends on anything can happen. So hopefully it will turn into a W for us tonight. Yeah, that would be great. All right. Well, the girls are just finishing their warm, warm-ups. We'll uh, take a quick break here, and we'll be back uh, for the start of the game momentarily. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just about to start here. Again, this is Matthew Kennerson with Marty Kelly. Sitting here with the delicious taste of pizza in my mouth. Because, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> we had Coach Balfour from Hollis Brookline come over and deliver pizza to us because she heard us last week saying that we were hungry. She also delivered us a roster of all the team's names so we wouldn't refer to all of her players as Wendy. So thanks. Thank you, Coach. That was delightful it was and delicious, greatly, and we appreciate it. Yep, greatly appreciate it. Thank <laughs> and you And we again. will do our best not to call anybody Wendy unless it's their actual given name. <laughs> so bribery does work. If you're uh, tuning in and you're a coach from another team, we'll be commentating on later. Remember, pizza works. All right, again, we're going to do a best of five here between the visiting Hollis Brookline Cavaliers and the Groffstown Grizzlies. Justine Watterson opened it up for the first serve for Goffstown. And for our lineup, we've got, I'll wait till this plays over. Yeah, we got an excellent rally. Nice We're starting off Justine. the game, yep. Good swing Moody. from the outside hitter. Oh, a little and long. Hit long. That was, a, that was a great start to the game though. That was a Yeah, we had some rally. nice swings. We had some nice digs. So it looks like we got Meg Lambert and Bridget Kennerson as the outside hitters. Uh, Liz Galetta and Sarah Conley will be the middles with Autumn Moody as a libero. Justine Watterson right side and Bailey Gagnon as a setter. And it's going to be called a double. Early 2-0 lead here. And we did share pizza with Kelsey and she was eating and not updating the score. <laughs> oh, off the ceiling and down. So does that mean we get to blame any scoring irregularities on, on Coach Balfour as well? Oh, so yeah, so she delivered the <laughs> she pizza. Delivered the we pizza. did share it with our camera, our volunteer camera operator. 
The ball's still alive. Yeah, excellent one off the net there. Uh, that is not quite clear. Tried for that tip and... Kira Belden back to serve with a 4-0 Hollis Brookline lead. She's the junior setter. And her name is not Wendy. Nicely done, Matt. Served long. So in the rotation, it would have been Lambert's turn to serve, but we're going to have Anna Gendron come in for the to serve and be the uh, defensive specialist row for the role for the three rotations in the back row. Good serve from Anna. Set to the outside. Good coverage down the line by Waterson. Waterson. Nice Waterson. dig. Yep. Set to the middle, but off, off out of bounds tips. off the block. Skip. Got number 16 serving, Maddie Norris. She's also a junior, the outside, an outside hitter. Off the ceiling yep. Yep. and still in play. Well done. Get Those are tough. Up. You don't know where they're coming from. That was number 25, the right side, Elizabeth Atkinson. Another junior. Just looking at the HB roster, there's only three seniors on it. Um, two, four, six, seven juniors and four sophomores. So they're a relatively young team. Set to the outside. Excellent swing from Kenderson. Oh, they right. called that ball in. So that was a nice dig. Yeah, it was, it was. From Kaylee Whalen. And then she got the set right back and put a shallow cross court hit down. 7-1 HB lead. Norris still serving for HB. Timing a little bit off there. Eight one and still Norris serving. Tipped over the block. Number 17, Kaylee Whalen. In the uh, JV game, we actually had a ball hit the weight. Uh -huh. Came back down on their side, and they continued to play it. Really? Yeah, so that the weight actually helped. <laughs> nope, time out here from I Coach Barron. Yeah, with a down 9-1, he just wants to get their head in this game. Yeah. There, you know, there could be a little psych out with a going against the undefeated team. But right. It did, yeah, there was certainly a... a Intimidation level there. And Hollis Brookline is definitely playing very well. So, Marty, I wanted to thank you, too, for your donation of a signed book for the uh, raffle for our upcoming fundraising golf tournament. It was my pleasure, man. Oh, thank you very Happy much. Happy to That's do it. Happy to do it. We'll get that, we'll get that announcement out and, and uh, show people about it on Facebook and on uh, the uh, Instagram. And, and uh, even if you, you know, for people listening, if you don't, don't golf, Come to the raffle Thursday, September twenty eighth, about one thirty. Dinner, uh, dinner and a raffle. Dinner's thirty dollars. Um, you can also purchase raffle tickets and put them in for the item of your choice. And uh, again, all that all that money is for the funding of this program, the the b entire boys program, the the girls freshman team, uh, buses, refs, uniforms, everything for the boys team in the spring, and then also a second team at the middle school. Wow. So, yeah. Um, I know there's a lot of hustling for the fundraising that happens. Well, and, and that's important. We've been we've we've got it down to a couple of um, bigger ones instead of the bake sales and the right. coupon books. It's, <laughs> so we're 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 getting some big impact um, fundraising, which I'm is good. I'm pretty sure that signed book will bring in tens of millions of dollars. Uh, pesos. Fun. Pesos. pesos. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, not U.S. dollars, of course, naturally. Uh, Trinidad and Tobago <laughs> dollars. <laughs> All right, we've got Moody serving, number one. You see more of these games than I do, Matt. You're on the road with the team, too, but Moody seems like a very consistent server from what I've seen. Yep, She's yep. And the, and the serving has gotten much more consistent and better from those the early couple of games in the season. Right. Oh, wow. Blocked. That was a spectacular block. Number 25 and 12 working together there. Stopped an excellent swing from Kenderson. 
Natalie Cook and Elizabeth Atkinson. Number one serving. That's Sammy Shepard, the libero. You've got this memorized already, Matt. I am impressed. Well, you know, a lot of these girls do play together in club and in off season, and um, uh, my daughter Bridget has played played on the Grand Estate Games with Sammy Shepard uh, a couple of years ago, two years ago, and um, also played club with the setter and the outside hitter for Hollis Brookline. So they, you know, know each other outside of the school, the school volleyball season. Is the club scene very big in New Hampshire, club volleyball? It's it's growing. Um, there's a lot of options, a couple of different options for the girls to to have touches outside of the regular school season. So it, it really has turned into a year round, year round sport. And of course, you know, even for girls looking to play in college. This is that college coaching season, too, so they're busy with their teams and not necessarily good coverage by the defense. There's Excellent. Uh, they're busy with their teams during the season, so they don't have a lot of time to go visit for recruiting, but these, right. these kind of national tournaments, um, the big one in Boston, big one in Hartford, Atlanta, D.C., at least on the East Coast, um, an opportunity for coaches to see the players play live. Yep. Thirteen four. In the first game to twenty-five. We have number two coming in, Kenzie Powers. All right, we we did verify that there are no Wendy's. That is true. All right, we don't Kenzie have Power any. We, and we don't have any Wendy's either. Kenzie Powers has a good superhero name, though. I like that. As long as she uses them for good. That's true. She scored her team a point. That's going to. Depends on which depends side, on side of the gym you're sitting it's on. good or evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice dig from Moody. Does not get there in time. No, nope, we're going to have a, a conversation. Yep. All right. Nothing. Nothing well, changed there. Yeah. Did it? Don't oh, mind. I think I think they might have been talking if the ball actually hit out before Moody got to the touch it. Oh, that, okay. That, that might have been the. Got it. Got it. Good hit from that was Sarah Conley. Excellent. Off the block, stolen kill, but it's still at the attack point. Right. So now we'll rotate again. Kennerson will go back to serve. Lambert checks back into the game for the outside. I don't think she's going to serve it her friend Sammy. <laughs> uh, he's going to call that one a double. That's spin. Yep. Fifteen five. Get Kaylee Whalen serving number seventeen. She's got to tip that. Oh right. Back over. I think that block was from number five. Five and eleven five were up there 11. together. So when two, when two, I, I kind of figured this out too. When two players go up on a block, no matter if one of them gets it, even all by themselves, they both get a block assist. Uh, okay. When it's just one player going up, then they get a solo block. Set to the right side, blocked, Excellent but block. covered. Good coverage for number two. Could not get there in time. Nice try. We're 18-5. Again, that was your superhero that um, got that cover. That was. That cover off the block. Kenzie Powers. Using her powers. For the good of her team and well, the evil of ours. Coach Barron's going to take his second time out of the game. Down 18-5. to five. Yeah, for the rest of this one, you just got to get some, you know, hey, let's get some passes. Let's get let's get a couple of kills. Right. Um, 
so we can take that momentum into the second game. I see I'm reading his lips. <laughs> that was good. I am impressed. Yep. So, Bailey, look at You can do it. <laughs> Shook it right on the shoulders. And if you don't, I'll shake you harder <laughs> next time. It's another hot one up here in the rafters. It is. It is. It is typically hot up here. They, keep, they kept our pizza warm, Matt. That's, that's what we, right. we have to look right. at the positive side. Plus also the puddle of sweat at our feet is refreshing, <laughs> and it's giving the ducks a place to swim. We should bring a thermometer next week, find out the difference between the temperature on the floor and up here in the, in the cheap seats. Served out. That was served out. Close. Timeout worked. It did. It did. Broker mojo. <laughs> Sorry about your mojo, Miss Whalen. Conley back to serve. She's going to take that sidestep, bring that elbow back. Sidestep, elbow oh. back. There we go. You got it. Oh, and just that was long. long. Almost took out the HB camera standing over there. I don't think you actually get extra points for that. No, but the, our, our camera that, that does the, the game footage from the end took a uh, massive hit oh. in, uh, in the uh, Timberland game. And there it is, still standing. Or is that a replacement? No, that's, it's, it's, it's functional. Good defense from Goffstown. Take that swing. Excellent. There's a block, but out. Oh. They got there. They got up there. They got on it. Just that was a hard, hard hit. Yep. At number eleven, Marin Anderson, serving. And Galetta and, and uh, Waterson were up on that block together. Twenty-one, 21. to six. And serve long and ooh, just missed the camera. Number eleven, Waterson serving for Goffstown. That was real close, that but was. out. I mean, HP has been hitting and has earned a lot of these points, but they have. We, we've got to minimize those errors. I think they just want to get out of this one, move on to the next one. 23-7. Number 11, Kyra Biden. Oop, is it? Kira Belden. Kira Belden. I was, uh, I need well, my glasses. No, I need my glasses, um, Matt. She's number five, the setter, is Kira. <laughs> I need stronger glasses, apparently. I need the roster in Braille next time, <laughs> Coach Balfour. The pizza was nice, but a Braille roster would apparently work better for me. Let's just be glad I'm not a ref, Matt. I look like Mr. Magoo down there. See, getting that official measurement for the net height? It's one ref length high. Is there a question about it? Did it? I don't know. He was just airing out his armpits, perhaps? He just wanted to walk on the court. <laughs> He's getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> that was served long. You know, some some people have color commentators. You have the obvious commentator <laughs> for me. I am I am really good with a, the a blatantly keen, obvious things. Keen insight into the obvious. Yep. Yep. That ball's alive. Going over for a free ball. Opportunity for it HB. Is. We call that a double or carry. Nine All right. Well, players game rotate. Point. Yep. Moody the libero will serve us here at serve here at 24-19. And Bailey's got Conley and Kennerson in the front row as her targets. Good serve from Moody. 
Little bit of an overpass, but opportunity. Good cover from Watterson. Excellent. Set to the outside. Tipped, covered. And put down for a kill. Now, so that'll, that'll, that'll end the first game. College Brookline takes it 25 to nine. Players, teams will switch sides and we'll be back momentarily for the second game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game two between the visiting Hollis Brookline Cavaliers and the Goffstown Grizzlies. HB took the first game 25 to nine. We we're about to start the second with HB opening up the serve. Number five, Wendy serving. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying joking. to look at the, we've got a little bit of a lineup change here. We've got Olivia Daly on the floor. And I'm thinking she's going to be the outside, and Bridget has Bridget Kennerson has moved to the right side. All right, first point in the game goes to Goffstown. But maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. So number 24, Olivia Daly serving. Nice serve. And two points. So. Goffstown's crushing them right off the bat. Right off the bat. <laughs> two nothing lead. <laughs> and so, see, like, you know, everybody makes a little bit of a bad pass. Everybody hits into the net. We just, you just got to minimize those. Right. It's Steve Fountain down there blocking the doors, making sure the ball doesn't get out and smash more pizzas. And run all the way down to the theater. Yeah, which is always exciting, but does tend to slow the game up a little bit and make us late for dinner. We have another ball. <laughs> Number 16, Maddie Norris serving for HP. Hung around in the ceiling for a while, but did decide to come back down, and they kept it in play. We got a little bit of a rally going here. We do. We did. We yeah, there was a bump set way outside. Kennerson really had to adjust to that. This ball was going all over the place. So, right. yeah, it looks like Kennerson has moved over to the right side for this, and Daly and Lambert are the outsides. Uh, Conley and Galetta still as the middles. Moody as the libero and Gagnon serving. Setting. Good, good day. Uh, we had the cover there. It just went up and out of bounds. Yep. All right, so 3-2 HB lead. Hit long. Norris. Yep, so here comes Conley in for the front row rotation. Galetta will take a seat for the next three rotations, and Moody will serve. for the next 22 points. That'd be nice. I see it happening. After this one. Trying that back row attack. Oh, Excellent. first kill of the night for Kenderson. All right. We'll get him, we'll get him going here, 5-4. So this is where, you know, the early part of the game, hopefully you can play point for point, and then right. just that middle section, if we can stay with them, don't don't let them get a, you know, that four or five point lead where all of a sudden it's like 17 or 18 right. to 13 or right. 12. You know, there's, there's where the game difference is. Excellent. So serve get the Kenderson. point, get the serve. Right, you got it, yeah. yeah. Block, blocked, but, uh, but out. it went out. Too bad. It was a nice block.
Kenzie Superpowers serving. And a very nice serve. That may be her superpower. To the outside. And block, nice. Good dig. coverage. She can hit that. She did. And she did. There's a hittable ball from Shepard. Good dig. Here we go. Back row attack from Kenerson. Oh, Beautiful. right at the that libero, was, though, and she got it. it. She did get it. It was an excellent dig from libero. Off the block and out again. Right. It was a good rally. There was a lot of good de defense yeah. from both sides in that. It was well done. Time out. 7-4, yeah, see, you want to you wanna keep it 8-4, eight, eight, you know, versus that 7-5. Seven, 7-5, five. Seven, five, you're still in it. You want to get this next point. Right. And he's telling them to use their elbows and karate chop everybody. Out on the, uh, you can, we can just see the concession stand. We got our new, we got our new banner there with the uh, Goffstown Volleyball Servers logo on oh, there. See that, that, that grizzly paw ripping yeah, that volleyball part? That's that. awesome. Hasn't even got pizza stains on it yet. Not yet. We're keeping that away from the pizza. That is smart, especially if I'm eating. Well, and you can, you know, that pizza had to be delicious. It was. Because, it was, well, it was, it was yeah. of course. I, I gave mine to Kelsey. That's okay. That was, that was kind of you. And, but you can I see told the, her to stay the away grease from stain on our, on, our, <laughs> on our cheat sheet rosters here. That's the sign of a That's good pizza. That's the sign of a good pizza If it right turns there. the paper clear, it's the window to deliciousness. It's the difference between you and me, man. You gave yours to Kelsey. I threatened Kelsey <laughs> if she got near mine. I'm pretty sure you can take her. <laughs> now her dad and her brother. Now that that might I be another know. story. She, she looks tough. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mess with Kelsey. Well, now they got to check the pin. This down ref is, he is earning his money tonight. He is all over Checking this. Checking the net height with that calibrated yeah. arm reach. He, <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the certification papers on his on his arm reach and calibration. Now he's, now he's doing the, the eyeball on the pin to yeah, the line. He is. And he's, oh, thumbs he's up, good we're good to go. We are good. I hope the refs don't watch the games. <laughs> You know, we could call that them. Was a, that was a long time out. It was. Well, it, it, it coincided with the net calibration. Set to the outside. Good hit. Wonderful Good hit. swing. Off the oh, ceiling yep. and not coming back for that. The, uh, the timeout, the yep. threats the coach used, whatever, whatever he threatened five. with. There we go. So now we're going to have Watterson check into the game to serve and be the DS role for Lambert for these next three rotations. So we got Daly and is it Conley or Galetta? I can't see. I can't see past we need the, the ref. We need the ref to move. Yeah, we need That's invisible Conley. refs is yep. what we need. <laughs> Conley's in there now. Could not quite get to that one if the ref, ref was invisible. It wouldn't have made a lick of difference. And we have successfully shagged the ball. That's long. Serve long. Almost took out the cameraman. He moves slightly. That's all it took. Yep, he's real. He's not a statue. I saw him blink. <laughs> That's amazing. I was going to go tip him. I thought he was one of those living statue guys you see on the street sometimes. There you go. Conley, good serve. Set to the outside. Off Tip off the block. Still alive. Opportunity. Oh, over. Yep. And put it where they ain't. Well, she, uh, she picked her spot for that. Nine six HP's lead, only leading by three right now, and two. smart choice leading by two. This is a much closer game. Like you were saying, keeping it up, almost point for point. Number three Bailey Gagnon serving. Give 
know what we should get for for the little bit of downtime we have, Matt, is like just microphones we can go interview random people in the crowd. I, I asked about that, yeah. you know, for our, like when we do the um, interviews with the players after the game to, instead of putting the headsets on to do, you know, actual microphones. So that, that you know, that we may be a thing. We could, we probing could Probing personal questions that make people very uncomfortable. Well, see, we would need, we would need a sideline reporter for that. Yeah. You know, because we got play-by-play -play and color covered. Yeah. Now we need, we need a sideline reporter. Somebody who's not afraid to ask the tough questions. It's exactly right. Good uh -oh. dig off the net, uh, still alive. Oh, That's uh, that, if it stays and in. Oh. That was that was a little bit of scrappy play there from Gostown. It was. It was nice to see that. Twelve seventeen HB serving. Twelve seven. So <laughs> forgot my glasses again, Matt. Eight. Twelve eight. Twelve eight. That one I can see. In the second. So now we rotate. Lambert will check back in, and Daly will serve. Good put down from the middle. Yep. Yeah, oh, we've got number 17 coming in. Sierra Denman going out and Kaylee Whalen coming back in for Hollis Brookline. There goes the camera. Kaylee Whalen's another good name. Sounds like a rock star. Nine fourteen, definitely a guitar player. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. In a in like a an all girl punk band, a really good one. Well, and then oh, the, and then excellent dig. And Autumn Moody could be the drummer. She could. That's a good band name. <laughs> Beautiful. Get that over. Get the, oh, oh. oh. Roofed on the block. That was a nice rally, though. Again, good play on both sides. It started to separate again here, the 15 to 9. Yep. Oh, we're still much tighter than the last game. Out of system ball, but Conley's going to swing at that. Nice. Long. Oh, that was going to go long. That's all right. Still alive here. Still alive. And Lambert can swing at that. Well. Here's an out-of-system ball for HB, but they're going to swing. Yeah. Split the block. And just fell down on the defense. Another timeout. Timeout, Goffstown. And again, just to get that. Hey, let's worry about getting to 10. Right. Keep swinging at the ball. If you don't, I'm going to make you run laps until you throw up a lung. Is that what he said? Uh, maybe. I'm relying on you. Oh, uh, the ref came, down from his ref came down from the perch to get a, to get a drink. And Goffstown has used both of their timeouts so far in this match. HB still has two. They're saving them for something really spectacular. Maybe to bring us more pizza. That was a, a phrase I heard, you know, well, the coach ought to use them. He can't take them home. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was something I heard way back in basketball that one of, the, one of the opposing team's parents was yelling at her daughter to get into the game and rough somebody up. Use your fouls. You can't take them home. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, Coach Balfour, use your timeouts. You can't take them home. Yep, yep. It's 
call a timeout, hang out, chat with the team. And see, that's where if we had a sideline reporter, we could get him. Like, we yeah. could get him in between games. Yeah. Swing at that. Good. That was hit. an excellent swing. Here's another opportunity for Goffstown. It's got to go to the outside. That hit the pin. Yeah. They're having a little. It it, it hit the, yeah. the the expertly calibrated pin. Yes. 17-9, HB serving. And long. And long, yep. That was close, but it was long. It was. I like seeing those last second decisions when they when they yank their hands away. They just they figured it out real quick on the let it do its thing. Number six, Kenderson serving. Oh, that was, was it. Oh. Oh. That looked in. That me. one was closer than the last one. Yeah, that. No oh, touch. Yeah. Nobody touched it. Oh, oh they're going to come talk about it yeah. now. I, I thought, actually uh, thought I saw a touch yeah. on that one, Matt, and I see some of the Goffstown girls. Yeah. it. Yes, yep. they changed that. It was a touch. Good. So like we talked about this before. The, the down ref, the, the up ref is the man. He has the last say. Right. But he will obviously listen to the down ref if right. he says, yep, I saw the touch. And yep. HB captain just asking about that. 1811, who have you got serving? Waterson. Waterson, survey. yep. Oh. Down ref coming out. Down ref is he is he is definitely earning his money tonight. Yeah. Well, he knows he knows he's going to be on GTV. That's right. He wants we camera. He wants camera time. Eighteen twelve. Waterson still serving. If we see him applying any kind of television type makeup. That's long. Yeah, no that touch. 18-13. We're closing it up here. One point at a time. Oh. Into the serve net. into the net. Denman for HB back into the game to serve. Good swing from Conley. Beautiful kill. Norris. Number 16. Yes? Yep, Maddie Norris. Yes, it was a that was a nice one. Twenty thirteen. And the third ball. Conley to serve. Step, elbow, bang. <laughs> Good Another dig from Kenerson. There we go. And yeah. Back set. Block. Sent over, opportunity. Out of the net. Uh. Yep. Daly got that cover, but we couldn't get the second one, second yep. out of system one up. Got Moody coming in. For Conley. Number 
number 18, make Cochran serving. Back to the outside, tipped and blocked. Out of system ball, but opportunity here. Tipped. Tip, tip, tip. <laughs> tip, tip, tip. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hit into the net from the back row. I thought you were going to burst into a Disney song there with your tip, tip, tip. And long. 24-14, this is game point for HB. In the second, in a best of five. She's gonna, gonna have to just send that over as a free ball. Back set, blocked, covered, and we're gonna get called in the net. Daily in the net, match over. So HB takes the second one, 25-14. Takes a two game to nothing lead and we will be back shortly for the third. All right, welcome back to game three in the best of five between Hollis Brookline Cavaliers and the Goffstown Grizzlies. HB took the first 25 to nine and the second 25-14. This is Matthew Kennerson back with Marty Kelly. Hey, we are here. We do have a lineup change. The first server here for Goffstown will be Ami Pletsis, a junior setter. Looks like she's gonna take over for Bailey Gagnon in the third game here. Good opening serve. Let's get a block up on that. We got a touch, but down in the defense. Uh, not sure of any other changes. It looks like Kenerson is back to the outside with Lambert. And Daly is in the middle. And Watterson is the right side with Moody as the libero. So Kenerson, uh, yeah, Kenerson's outside. She's going back to serve here. Lambert's outside, Daly's middle. Watterson's right side. Good serve right at the libero. So that was an out of system ball. The setter yes. didn't put that up and um, you know, was a hitting error. So that's that's ideally what you want. You want that, you want those serves. If they're not gonna drop in for an ace, you want that off pass to give make a, any other player but the setter to take that ball. So that here's nice right to the center. Right. So she had an opportunity to put up a hittable ball. So now here, the setter had to take that. So this is out of system. The libero's putting it up, but it drops. But that's what you want. Right. You know, so when, when that setter is a, in a, it has to play defense in the back row, that's who you want to hit at. Make them take the first ball. So you have a player that's other than your setter taking the second. 2-2 two, two tie. Too bad we don't have another two up there for two games of two games. Yeah. Well, they're going to call Daly in the net on that one. Nice yeah, she and had to puts it over. dive she for that at the last she, minute. She got it. She got it. But it, yeah, it came off the ceiling, so she had to dive for yep. it at the last minute. Four-two HB lead in the third. Good cover from Watterson.
back set and In long. Out. Four three. Good Olivia Daly serving. Oh, that, yeah, yep, he called call that in. in. That's on the line. Four four. All right. Doesn't have the symmetry of all the twos, but we'll take it. Oh, do not clear the net. Nope, Conley put up a hittable ball there. Lost in the rafters for a minute. Opportunity here for Goffstown. Where is she going to go with it? Back set to the right side. And Excellent. a stolen Excellent. kill, Excellent. but it's an yes. attack point. We'll, we will take that. Tied up at five now. And Watterson serving. Conley's been playing really, really well the past couple of games. She had a really good game against Timberlane and a really good game against Bedford. And but see, not a lot of blocking. But neither one of those two teams were hitting much on us right. at all. Um, so in this game, it's, it's that there's a lot more hitting that we're seeing from Hollis Brookline. They obviously have three or four very good, right. very good hitters, either yep. from the outside or right side. There's that tricky, tricky one off the net. Yeah, where it just skipped over the net. And yep, and then guys gave it a good attempt and could not get there in time. 7-5. Number 10, Jordan serving. Out of the net, and Watterson puts that over. Nice save. It was. Yep. Nice catch from the coach. Conley and Pletzis got together on that block, but just powered out of bounds. That's going to be tough off the net. And... Nine five. Good serve received, good set. They hung there on that block yes, and yes. Ten five. Timeout, Ten Goffstown. Five. So, Coach Barron's not going to take any of his home. <laughs> They're free. Use them. He's telling them to use their x-ray vision or laser eyes to knock the ball out of the air <laughs> or drive it directly into a wall. Barring that, grab the other team, throw them down. I don't think that's legal. No, and that's um, you know that that's one thing for a lot of uh, former basketball players to um, go to volleyball. It's you know it's it's, it's obviously uh, you play defense. It's a sport, um, but obviously non non contact. Right. Are you saying the basketball players missed that? Well, they no, I'm, I'm saying that's why my, my, it's probably a good thing that my daughter doesn't play basketball anymore. <laughs> I think the non-contact sport's better for her, better suited for her temperament. Yeah. And that ball was in. Tied 
timeout was not enough to shake number 10's mojo. And she's a sophomore. Ball still alive. Free ball opportunity here. Set to the middle. Come on, Sarah. And Tipped it out. Number 10 got like a little dancer pose before she serves. We were noticing those before. And There's long. serve long. Oh, just over the camera. Yeah, that was that was very close. Although Mr. Mr. Pishka was there poised to catch that camera if it went over. Ready for action. Lambert back to serve. This is the first time she served tonight. Wow, that so overpass. Conley was there to put the ball back down, but there, there was a dig, it just didn't work out. So we'll, we'll take that point. Thirteen seven, Kaylee Whalen serving. Taking time out from her busy touring schedule with her band. And Caitlin Young checks into the game for Lambert as the defensive specialist for Gosstown. She'll do those three rotations in the back row. Tipped right in the middle of the big gaping <laughs> hole in the defense. 14-7. I don't know much about sports, Matt, but a big gaping hole in the defense seems like the place you would want to put that ball. Good set, good yeah, kill. Excellent. There we go. From that's what we. That's what we're used to seeing. That's what we like to see. Right. That perfect serve receive pass to the setter. She only had to take a step or two. Right. And then just that nice set to the pin on the outside, a little bit off the net, but Kennerson was able to adjust to it and Absolutely. put it right down. Conley serving. And then Another HB did the same 16. exact thing exactly that we just did. A mirror image of the same play. And it worked exactly as well. Got number 18 coming in. Meg Cochran. That's long. That was long. Players will rotate. Pletzis will go back to serve. And we'll have Watterson, Daly, and Kennerson in the front for Ami Pletsis' targets. Caitlin Young and Autumn Moody in the back row for defense. So Sutter's a back row player in this rotation. So she will, can't attack above the net when she's in front of that 10 foot line. Excellent block. Yeah, overpass. Kenderson put it down for a kill right into that right side's block. And it looks like Kenzie Superpowers is doing the setting duty now for HB. And okay. Kara Belden has 
come out. And that's, you know, get get some court time, backup setter. Right. With a 17-10 lead and a two-game-to-nothing lead. Good opportunity to do it. Absolutely. Good cover from Waterson. Back row set and attack. Out. Excellent. No touch. Ball's out. 17-11. So this would be a really nice spot to hand Hollis Brookline their first individual game loss of the year. It would. I would say uh, any spot would be a good spot to do that. Well, and um, actually Bishop Girton, and they're, I don't know, BG is playing tonight, but Bishop Girton is in the same situation. They're 5-0, and oh, and they have not lost an individual game yet. Have they played but with guess those who's, two teams guess played? who's playing uh, on September 25th? Ah, there we go. HB and BG. That is going to be a great game. Nice block. Yeah. Lambert and Daly got together on that, and what HB's in the, in the net. We'll take that point. 18-12. Conley checks back in. Daly will serve as the middle. And then as soon as she rotate out of that serve, Libero Moody will come back on. Nice dig from Gostow. Could not quite get there in time. Number one, H.B. Libero serving. Call that a double hit, or well, four. Either two, because Lambert hit it twice in a row. The ball never went over the net. Right. 2012. That was a good year. And 21-12, that will be a good year. It's my theory. Jerry Lynn Nolan's checking into the game for Bridget Kennerson. Give it right back to her. Good block. Great Conley block. and Watterson Great together block. on that block. That's what we like to see. Yeah, I don't think either one of us is going to be around to see 21-12. No. I just have high hopes that it'll be a good year for whoever's here. Excellent yeah, serve from Watterson. Out of system. Good pass. There we go. Set. Oh, right off her fingers. 22-14. Elizabeth Atkinson serving for HB. Powerful serve there. Good back row swing from Nolan. Conley on the block Somebody and the, the cover, net. but into the net. A little bit of a delayed call from the ref there, but 22-15. Actually happened in the last game. <laughs> that was a weak attempt at a joke, Matt. I got it. <laughs> it you got it just as delayed as the I, call. I got it delayed as, as <laughs> much delayed as the call. That's right. And that is long. I'm here for you to, to explain those calls to you if you need. That one was long. Yep, thank We're you. Getting, okay. 
want to make sure you're following we the game. Could, you know, we could get that whole Madden thing going. Like, here's a guy that when he throws the ball, the other guy's got to catch it. <laughs> I'll be the mansplaining commentator. There you go. Now, what you should have done there. 24-15, this is game point. I think we got to sport some points here real, real quick. I think it's going to happen, Matt. I think they're going to recover. This is match point, not even game point. Good swing from Nolan. That's it. And That's it, 25-15. Well, if we extrapolate this out, we might have won a, a game later on. <laughs> but HB improves to 6-0, and and Gostown falls to 1-7. and This is Matthew Kennerson with and Marty Kelly. Marty Kelly. we got to come up with a catchphrase signing off. We do. We'll, we'll, we'll work Ahoy on that. Ahoy, well, oh, we do, terrible. We do have a game. Um, we have a game. What's today? This is Hollis Brookline on Wednesday. We have Friday off. There's not even a road game. Our next game is Monday, the 25th, for hosting Manchester Central. All right. So we should be back um, next Monday, the 25th. Again, should this we put is in a, an order with the Manchester Central coaches? Maybe. Pizza? If they watch this game... HB brought pizza. Step up, guys. Central. Are you, I hope you're listening. But we'll see you then. This <laughs> is care. Matthew Kennerson with Marty Kelly. Thanks, Matt. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Matthew Kennerson. With me is senior middle blocker, six foot one, Sarah Conley. Hi, Sarah. Hi. So match today against Hollis Brookline kind of went as expected. They're a very good team. Yes, they are. I remember ever since I can remember, they've always been very competitive and they're fun to play against, but it's crazy. Yeah, they're a good team. They had a lot of lot of weapons, yeah. um, a lot of hitting from the right side, the outside. And um, right. yeah, so on the season so far, you've, you've come a long way in the last couple of games. Yeah. You had a really, really good game against Timberlane, a really good game against Thank Bedford. You. you had some good swings and good hits today. Mm -hmm. um, so looking forward to get the second half of the season, get the first Definitely. half of the season done. We got another home game against Central. Yeah. Um, kind of then go into the second half mm -hmm. of the season. Definitely. So you're a senior involved mm -hmm. in the performing arts at the yes. school here. So you play an instrument? Yes, I play violin yep. um, in the orchestra. I sing in choir and select choir. Okay. Um, also, I've made all state three years in a row for choir. Yeah. Um, I'm also involved in various clubs like Tri-M, which is a big music club. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, and I also do the musicals. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Now, are you looking to, you're going to, going to go to college next year? Yeah. Um, are you looking to go into a music program? I'm still deciding, but I'm, okay. yeah, I'm thinking about thinking it. Thinking music, mm -hmm. all right. And, and, and certainly there's an opportunity for you to continue playing volleyball in Definitely. college as well. Yeah, so. I'm starting to think about Division Three. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, yeah, I think with, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure a lot of the coaches, especially in New England, will just love to get their hands on a six foot one <laughs> middle blocker. Yeah. Um, so I wish you the best of luck with Thank that. Thank you so and, much. And uh, we'll see you for the rest of the season. This is Matthew yes. Kennerson with Sarah Conley. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Sarah. Thanks for having me. All right. See ya. <laughs>